Hi to all. This video you will be learning about how to uh, how to multiply uh, special products of binomials. Okay, now as you know, binomials means they will have two terms. That's why we call it binomials. They are similar to the lesson which we did in yesterday's uh, video because we yesterday we saw the detailed steps on how to multiply some questions, but this one. Those special binomials can be simply multiplied rather than using those long steps. So before we start and uh, giving, let me give you the idea of what the lesson is about. Um, a perfect square trinomial. Now the word trinomial means you will have three terms. A perfect square trinomial is a trinomial that is the result of squaring a binomial. So binomial has two terms. Now that will be inside the parenthesis written with a square. Okay. Now the result of that the answer of that is going to be a trinomial which is called a perfect trinomial let me show you in detail what do they mean this part is very 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 important for this lesson you can take a screenshot you can take write it down somewhere because the whole uh, lesson the whole lesson is based on these three formulas okay so it's a plus b and a minus b is equal to a square minus b square then a plus b the whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square a minus b the whole square is going to be equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square now these two formulas are similar only because of the minus sign here the first sign itself became minus other than that as you can see it's all the same so you need to remember these formulas because whenever you find a binomial like this now this is the square binomial right it has been squared what does a plus b whole square means it means a plus b multiplied by a plus b so that's a square so the result is a trinomial see one two three so you will have three terms when you multiply a square binomial you will get a trinomial which is called as the perfect square trinomial okay now let me explain what did that formulas mean and how do you use them when you have to solve a question like this now this is a binomial because we have two terms but it is a square binomial because we are finding the square of it now this literally means x plus 6 multiplied by x plus 6 right now in yesterday's video we learned how to multiply those by using the longer way the um, the 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 vertical way of multiplying or i also told you, you can use the foil method if you could remember now for these kinds of questions i say you don't need to multiply you don't need to use foil method or you even don't need to use those long steps of vertical multiplying okay that's where these formulas come in place now what was the formula which gave us the form of this it was a b whole square equals a square plus 2ab plus b square okay now keeping this formula this is similar to this so we are going to arrange our equation in this form rather than using foil or rather than using the vertical method of multiplying we are gonna just multiply like that using this formula okay now in this formula it's a plus b which means in place of a we have x in place of b we have a six right now keep that in mind wherever you find a you need to replace it with x wherever you find b you will replace it with six let's go ahead and check this out now the formula says a square which means in place of a it's x so x square okay the first thing plus so plus comes in the formula so plus then the next one is two multiplied by a so what was the value of a according to the question it's x and what's the value of b according to the question it's six so two multiplied by x multiplied by six now we are done with the second part as well now for again the plus sign then b what takes the place of b in the question six so we write it as six squared now let's solve this first multiply x with the power of two that will give you x squared then you multiply two with x and then with 6. So first let's multiply the numbers. 2 multiplied by 6 is 12. 2 multiplied by x will give you a 12x and then the square of 6 means 6 multiplied by 6 will give you a 36. So finally if you multiply x plus 6 with x plus 6 you will get x squared plus 12x plus 36. 
This is how easy it is to multiply binomials when they have been squared like that. Okay, just use the formula. Put the place in place of A and B, just put the related values given and solve them. Your doubt will be cleared just by another example. So here we have 5A plus B whole square. Again, the formula A square plus 2AB plus B. Now, what takes the place of A in our question? The place of A is 5A and in place of B is B. Okay, now let's go ahead and solve. So the first thing is going to be A square, which means which number will take the place of A square? This whole thing will take the place because this all is considered as an A. And this all is considered as a B. So 5A is going to be 5A squared plus 2 multiplied by AB. AB means A is 5A and B is B. So 2 multiplied by 5A multiplied by B plus B squared. So B squared, what's in place of B? It's same B, so B squared. Now let's solve this further. We have 5 squared. That will give us 25. Then A squared will give you A squared. A multiplied by to the power of 2 will give you A squared, right? So 25 multiplied by 25A squared plus 2 fives are 10. 10A, that's because we are multiplying 2 with 5A, that will give us a 10A. 10A multiplied by B will give you a 10AB because there is 1 here, right? So 2 fives are 10, 10 ones are 10. And then we write the variables together. Finally, we have b squared. b multiplied by the exponent 2 will give us a b squared. What does b squared means? b multiplied by b. So b multiplied by b, b alone has value of 1 and 1, the exponent. So 1 plus 1 will give us a 2. Already in the previous uh, video, I think the day before, I have explained how do you get x multiplied by x is x squared. How do you get that? y multiplied by y. y is y squared. How do we get that? I have explained all these. So that's how you solve a binomial in this form. Okay, now let me move on to A minus B whole square. It's the same, only the sign is different here. So as a result, what happens is instead of the plus sign from the previous um, formula here, it is replaced by a minus sign. Okay, now in place of A, it's X. In place of B, it is 7. Now, do not look at this sign. Do not bother about this sign because we have already the signs in the formula. Okay, so let's replace them. A square. In place of A, it's X. So, X square. Then in the formula, it says minus, put minus. Next is 2, 2. In place of A, it's X, it's X. In place of B, it is 7. Do not take as negative 7. Take only as 7 then put that in place of b. Then comes the plus sign, then b square. b, again, I'm telling you, don't take the negative sign. Just take seven and write it as seven square. Now let's solve it. If you solve x square, x multiplied by two, that will give you the exponent two, that will give you x square minus two multiplied by seven will give you 14. 14 multiplied by x will give you a 14x. Then 7 square. 7 square means 7 multiplied by 7 gives us 49. Now you might be wondering why did I put square here and why did I put no square here? This is a number. We can solve the squares of this. This means x multiplied by, uh, sorry, 7 multiplied by 7, which will give us the answer of 49. So why should I put the exponent 2 again? I already solved 7 square. 7 square is 49, so I will not put the square. If you put the square here, that means again you need to multiply. I mean, it's, it doesn't make any sense. So 7 square is 49, but here as it is a variable, of course, variables, you have to have the powers. If not, you cannot know what is the exponent for this. So that's why we wrote this as x square and this without the exponent as 49. Okay, so hopefully that lesson is clear. That part of the lesson is clear for you. Uh, let's start practicing some questions so that your doubts will be more clear. Okay, now this is in the form a plus B whole square, right? Always, always write down the formulas because the more you write, the more your brain gets trained to remember the formulas. That's why I always say, 
write the formulas before you solve. So this is going to give you a square plus 2ab plus b square. So using this formula, let's find out what's the value of this. Now in place of a, I will write x. In place of b, I will write 7. So the formula here, a is x. So I write it as x square plus the formula says 2, so I put 2. Then it says a, so the value of a is x from the question, and the value of b is 7 from the question. Then put the plus sign again. Again, it says b squared. So what takes place of b in our question? 7. So we write it as 7 squared. Let's solve this. Now again, x to the power of 2 will give you x squared plus 2 multiplied by x multiplied by 7. So 2 7s are 14. 14 multiplied by x will give you a 14x. Then 7 squared, which means 7 multiplied by 7, that will give you a 49. So it's going to be 49. So the answer is going to be x squared plus 14x plus 49. So this is the answer for x plus 7, the whole square. Okay. Let's move on to another question. It's the same. Write the formula always. Always start by writing the formula. So that even if you forget something, you will remember that, yes, I have this formula with me. So it's going to be a squared plus 2ab plus b squared. All right. So let's start solving. In place of a, It's 2x. We take it as a whole. We don't only take 2 because 2x is in place of a. So we take this all as 2x. And in place of b, it is 6. So let's put that in the formula and see the answer. So a square, what does a square mean? That means it's going to be 2x square plus 2 multiplied by a. What's the value of a in the question? It's 2x. And what's the value of b in the question? It's 6. Here it's 6. So plus b squared, which means it's going to be 6 squared. So this is going to give us 2. Uh, the square of 2 means 2 multiplied 2 will give us 4. And x multiplied by the exponent 2 will give us 4x squared plus 2 multiplied 2 is 4. 4x, in fact, 4 multiplied by 6 is going to give us 24. So if anyone is having doubt on how to solve this part, because some might wonder, how did you get 24? Just multiply the numbers. Two twos are four, four six are 24. And what's the variable with us? It's x, 24 x, that's all. Then six squared will give us, six squared means six multiplied by six. That's gonna give you 36. So your answer is, 4x squared plus 24 plus 36. Moving to question number, moving to another question. Okay. Now, again, it's the same formula. Now, I am not writing the formula, but you need to write it. All right. So, this is going to be A and this is going to be B. So, what does the formula say? It says A squared, which means x squared plus to a in place of a it's x in place of b it's one plus b squared means it's going to be one square okay let's solve this so this is going to give us an x square plus two multiplied by one is two and then we have an x two x plus one because the square of one one multiplied by one is one so x one x plus one the whole square is x squared plus two x plus x plus one. Now, if you're wondering what we are really doing, we are really doing only this. Just like what we did yesterday. We multiply one with x plus one, then put the zero. Now see, this is going to be one and one plus one x. Then we put the zero, the magic zero, and this is going to give us one x. Right? And then again, x multiplied by x will give you x squared. So this is going to be x squared plus 2x plus 1. 
bingo, it's the same answer. So rather than using all these steps, we are using the formula to make it easy for us to calculate. That's all we are doing. Okay, now these are special binomials, so you can use the formula only for these. Let's try some more. So here we have, this is A and this is B. So according to the formula, it's A square, which means 5X square, plus 2 multiplied by A, that is 5X, multiplied by 9, that is B, plus 9 square. This plus, okay. So first uh, find the square of 5, that's going to be 25. Then X multiplied by the exponent 2 will give you X square plus 2 fives are 10, 10 nines are 90, and only we have an X with us, so write the X. Then 9 square will give you 81. So the answer for this question is 25 X square plus 90 X plus 81. Let's solve this. Now again, this is going to take the place of A, and this is going to take the place of B. Okay, so the quest according to the formula, we have A square, that is 2A square plus 2AB, so 2A multiplied by 7B plus B square. B square means, okay. So this means two, uh, two square will give us, means two multiplied by two will give us four. Then a multiplied by the exponent two will give us x square, a square. Plus two multiplied two will give you four. Four multiplied by seven will give us 28. But then we have the variables a and b. So we write a, b. Plus seven b whole square. So here we have a number. So find the square of uh, seven. So 7 square is 49, which is 7 multiplied by 7. But because we have a variable b, that means it's similar to this. So here we, it gave us 4a square. Here we got 49b square. Now please keep in mind, this is not 2 multiplied by the exponent 2. No, this is 2 multiplied by 2, not the exponent. Same here, this is 7 multiplied by 7 because this is an exponent. So you don't multiply 7 twos are 14. Don't do that mistake. This means 7 multiplied by 749b square. Okay, so let's look at this question with a minus sign now. The minus sign says, what is that formula? A minus b whole square. That's going to be a square minus 2ab plus b square. Do not bother about this negative sign, which is here. We are just going to follow the formula. So this is going to be A, and this is going to be B. So let's find out the answer for this. This is going to be, again, X square minus, because the formula says so, 2, A is going to be, A is going to be X, and B is going to be 6 plus, B squared, so it's going to be, don't put negative 6, as I told you, we are not bothered about the sign. The quest equation says plus, so you put plus, and only take the number. Okay, so equals, this is going to give us x squared minus, so 2, two, two multiplied by 6 will give us 12, then 12 here we have x, so that's going to give you a 12 x, plus 6 squared will give you 30. So the answer for this is x squared minus 12x plus 36. Similarly, this also is going to be x squared uh, minus, because it's minus. So minus 2x multiplied by 2 plus b squared, so that's 2 squared. This is going to be x squared minus 4x plus 4. Because 2 2s are 4 with x 4 x, 2 to the power of 2, 2 multiplied by 2 will give us 4. So the answer for this is x squared minus 4 x plus 4. Now you try to solve this part before me because that's why I say always practice because this, the uh, speed and the accuracy comes with practice. Okay, so let's solve this. This is going to be
So this is what we are going to solve. This is a square. So this is in place of a and this in place of b. So a square minus 2 a b plus b squared. So this is going to give me 36 b square minus 12 b q plus q square. 2, 6 are 12. 12 and there is nothing. So 12 p q because we have both the variables p q and q square will give us I mean q to the power of 2 will give us q square. So same here. This is going to be 7a square minus 2 7a b is 2b plus 2b 2b square. Okay, so this is going to give me 49a square plus 2 7s are 14, 14 2s are 28. So 20, uh, this is minus, why did I put plus? So this is going to be minus 28 AB plus, oh, the parenthesis should have been here, not here. This is going to be 4B squared. So the answer has to be 49a square minus 28b plus 4b square. So that was the lesson for today. Hopefully you have understood, but it takes time. It takes practice to perfect the lesson. So get yourself perfect in the lesson. So keep practicing and hopefully you can solve some questions of your own. Take interest in solving just by listening to this video and then closing the uh, computer screen and going away you will not learn anything definitely you will not learn anything if you want to learn and if you want to do good in math you have to keep practicing so keep practicing till we meet again in another video